Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a look at Korea Dynasty. I didn't even have this one on my radar, uh, but I saw a Steam suggestion pop this up. This is a 3D open world survival game that just kind of got into early access. Uh, it does have uh, English, and I think it is made by the Korean developer Happy Durham. Uh, no other games under their uh, belt, it looks like. But this one looks kind of intriguing, so we're going to pop into a new game. It does have English. I almost wanted to cover this one because it's got about 60% positive reviews, but nothing in English, so I have no idea what's going on with this game. Let's pop right in. I made with Unity as well. I hope this is not breaking. Oh, there we go. Loading. All right. It is open world. You kind of start as a slave or you start with slaves. Are we a peasant? Okay. There's literally no audio, though. I'm check, because I have the audio all the way. I just want to do that. Yeah, okay. Is there a map? I honestly hear nothing. That is a. Okay, so we got water, food, uh, that, and it's going to have a uh, co op, and I guess they're introducing that in. But I feel like audio is a big, big thing. So this, that's an axe. Probably want to use a pickaxe, right? Okay, no, there is audio for. Okay, so I have some rocks. But there's actually no background music. Or anything which is weird like there's no ambient audio or anything oh I just found a carrot too all right sweet give myself a carrot got a carrot okay so let's see we got a new mounting. so I guess that's all our gear damage chest piece damage pants fencing ability we've got archery ability block ability Buddhism, Confucianism, Taoism, so kind of like a religion thing. Okay, I've already got a little bit of mining skill. Okay, nice. It's also status according to the exterior. Equipped with other upper items. So the, yeah, the UI is tapering a little bit. Okay, there it is. I guess we were a little behind, but welcome to Korea Dynasty. And I don't know a whole ton about Korean history, I will admit. I know North Korea has some anger issues, and South Korea makes really great Netflix shows. Let's go mine. Can I mine this? No, I don't think I can get to this. Yeah. Maybe I need to be down a little bit. I don't know if we can actually get this, though. I think this might require... I don't have enough stamina. Uh, get our stamina back. Do I know where we are? No. I know there are villages and stuff. Alright. What was... I'm just curious. What, is that a meal? A oh, spinach! <laughs> that if you eat a lot, you hear arms become muscle mad. Oh, very nice. Can I eat this? Okay, right click eats that. All right. I'm gonna go check and see if I can get water. Don't know how map big the map is. I like this. I like this so far. Now that we got the audio in. It's a little bit nicer first impression. And I just... I'm gonna guess, so not all of it is in English. Okay, that's just getting water. Alright. Is that some... And what is that? Some beans. It is a savory bean. Okay, well, let's go into the crafting. What can we do? A bench. If you have this bench, your sur sur survival bench. 
I need wood and stone. Okay. All right. I do. Okay. I see where we're going with. No problem. I do need wood first. Okay. So let's get wood and then we'll get stone. I don't think we have carry weight. And can I also start putting you in here? Just so I can have my... Yeah, we'll just put you in there. Get some stone. And maybe I'll just get some more stone. This stone pickaxe is going quick. Get all that. Alright, lovely. I'm gonna start hitting up the hill. Because I know there's towns, there's NPCs, there's other stuff. But I kind of I kind of enjoy this part where there's no map. You don't know what uh, what's over the horizon. I will get some. I'm afraid of trees falling over death, though. Oh no, that's okay. I don't know if you're a real tree. Sometimes in survival games, there's trees that you can hit, but they you can't knock them down. Maybe a smaller tree. Yeah, that tree over there, maybe. Whee! This is coming out about on Steam for about, I do believe about $13 American. So we're already starting pretty low, so that's, I have lowered expectations, which is good. I don't know if, does it not actually work on trees? I, I don't know. Uh, it's up to... Why don't we just grab regular wood, I guess? I'm gonna guess there's specific trees that I can get. Are you actually wood? Are oh, your branches? Ah, uh, so we gotta find... Alright. Corn. Get up some more stone. Uh, all right. Hey, very nice. And I don't know if I can get this yet. Nope. There we go. I just don't see uh, our tool. Oh no, no, actually we did. Is that iron ore, I would imagine? You now I've covered a lot of survival games in uh, about eight plus years on the channel, so I've got a pretty good, pretty good idea. Is that not real? So we only got really, I only got one out of that. Uh, oh, chicken. That is a loud. Ah! Yeah. And I crouch. Here, chicky, chicky. Chicky. Come here, chicky. Right, I'm going to leave that for now. Oh, this is a lot of... Yeah, okay, I got to find a... We're going to keep going. I don't know. Probably day and night cycle. There's a sun in the sky. It's kind of a cloudy day, though. Don't know where we're going. Don't see roads yet. I think our main thing is we want to kind of stay near water, though, because I don't want to die dehydration. We can't make a water skin yet. Maybe we're an escaped slave or something. Face the other way. Am I going to get any wood out of this? Just generally curious. Because our axe is going down, but we're not getting a payout. It was a smaller tree. My only guess. I do like to see that we're getting more uh, different culture games. Different uh, from... Uh, you know, this Asia community. I'm really a big fan of that. I'm not a big fan of that chicken, though. I will tell you that. I'll run him. 
Maybe I'll head for the mountain. Maybe that's where I'll head. I'm gonna find a town. Got my objective of this video now, I'm gonna find a town. I know they do exist from the uh, trailer. And this is launched on to early access. And kind of when you, when you get hit, game gets hit with very mixed reviews, and I don't know the reason. I, I can kind of guess a couple of these from just the start, but. Let's grab some. The rates I think are okay right now. Gonna eat some. Oh, and it's nighttime now, too. Are we any closer to getting our crafting bench? I don't have any wood. I could make a skewer, though. Could make some straw. A wooden sword. If I could just get some wood. I'll research as well. Well, I need a stone and a branch to research stone axe, I think. Lamplight spear... Uh, can I put a branch in here? Will that research? Okay, that will research spear. Okay, so if I put stone in here and branch, no, I don't think. Uh, put stone there. Okay, that gets everything there. So if we put items in here. We will learn more stuff. Got it. No, I swear we kind of knew some of that stuff, but all right. Chicken, I will be the end of you. Let's head back to the water. I've not seen a deer yet. I can kind of think of some of the initial reviews. I think they pop you out in the middle of nowhere to survive. And I kind of get that, but uh, without a map, though, that's... As a player, you don't know if you're already... Are you in a gigantic open world that just randomly generated and doesn't mean anything? It's kind of what I would start to think a little bit. Ah, hydration. Very important. That is a boar? I don't know if you are deadly or not. You might be. I'm just gonna... We gotta figure out wood. I got stone plenty, but I... Very confused why I can't chop down trees. I'm just gonna try to just keep on this tree. Oh, hey! There was just no connection. Looked like, like we were... Okay, there we go. There's a deer over there. What is it over there? I think some of it actually fell through the world. I'm not entirely sure. So we got five wood out of that. Okay, I need to stay. This is going to be such a dark video. I apologize, but... Day night cycle went a little haywire on me. But then also I go to crafting, then research. And then I throw... I throw... Can't... That says no... No lucky that. Alright. Now I know about stone swords. I did... I'm turning into survival horror now because I'm not entirely sure. All this stuff over here that I can see. Like I can see through the area, which is very interesting. What is this? Some type of plant, I'd imagine. Oh, it's corn. Oh, okay, I can see it now. I'm not gonna starve, that's for sure. I guess we go after another tree, then. Because I need 15 to get a workbench. I'm gonna workbench so I can see what we're dealing with. And we build houses, etc.
I say the durability on the axe though is not great. I mean, I guess it is a stone axe though. Okay. Are you gonna fall through the world? I did get. I was like I said, it was an apple tree. You know what, my friend, have yourself an apple. You've earned it. Got some wood. I guess that stuff was kind of highlighted in the world. Okay, so how are we doing on wood? I'm up to 10. 15. Don't, can I get it? What about a stone axe, though? Can we not make a stone axe? I need one more rock, apparently. I need rock and branch. No, I can't. Do I select that? Have I already learned that? I think I need a bench to do this. Oh no, stone axe. Okay, so I can make... Make me another one. I think it's making one. Okay, I've made one now. Alright. Get the wood. Okay, so that makes sense. And my axe is gone. Okay. Imagine with iron, we'll get better tools and the durability will be hopefully a fair bit better. Yeah, some stuff is falling through the world. I can see that. That's a bit of a bad time. Remember, this is uh, opening day, so I do give some caveats, but that that's an issue. I feel like something was falling through the world. Okay. That's creepy. Need one more... I need one more wood, of course I do. Of course I need one more. Do, do, do. We'll get ourselves another tree then. There's also another lovely game called The Lost Village. Actually, that is, to me, that sounds insanely high. I'm gonna turn you down just a little bit. It's mostly, I think, the background. If you, I don't mind the other sounds, but I think a lot of this goes to audio balancing in video games. Sometimes, it's kind of surprising how off it is. That's nice. I hope this isn't copyrighted. Last early access game I had, the entire video was claimed by like six different songs. So, obviously the developer just taking songs from it, so. A lot of, at least, at least the uh, AAA games nowadays, they will have warnings if you're gonna, you know, record a stream, but they will tell you uh, they have a different setting for that with alternative music that isn't copyrighted. Okay. Should have enough now. Okay. Seventeen wood. Now I can make a bench. Also make a club now. I need to know about straw. So okay, we can actually craft straw. Okay, so then let's research that. And I still need to get you know about deer leather and cow leather. Well, I guess we're gonna commit a bit of murder then. Okay, but now we've got a crafting bench. I guess. <laughs> okay. Whee! I got some just to set up on the beach because there's water here. Do I? No, that. Hmm. Okay, so now we got placement. Right click is just placement. All right. Okay, so I need clay. We can have a loom, an oven, all right. Spinner, tanner frame. Blazing.
I don't think anything for building buildings, though. Furnace, formwork, countertop, campfire. But I do need a couple more branches. It would be nice to actually see what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, branches. One thing I also noticed earlier, uh, survival games, you really got to balance out the day-night cycle. Sometimes, I feel like games, they have way too long. Like, the, the days are really short in some of these survival games. And the night drags on for like ever. Which is not good initially to a player when it starts out because you can't see what you're doing. And they can have a bad impact. That is corn. I don't I don't entirely really know. Find some branches. Don't get those from trees. Uh no, thank you. Gonna I'm kind of scary. Let's find some branches. This way is a little lighter. And see a little better. And more stones isn't hurt, I guess. Find some branches on the ground. that no we got mushrooms hey all right up up i'm gonna be able to also weird that i can see items where you can pick them up i can see that through the land that's a little weird Oop. not see any it would be nice if I could set a marker so I know where my stuff is, though. We don't have a map. Do I actually look? Is there a thing for controls? Ah, no. Okay. Journal. Um, start pressing buttons down here. A lot I have to do in some of these games because sometimes you don't know. What about abil abilities? I've learned a little bit about stealth. Okay. Well, so far I'm not yielding any results on this. I've already lost my table. Anything resembling a road either. It'd be across the way. Just don't know. I'm gonna go down. I know it's somewhere down here. It's somewhere on the beach. Can I swim? I cannot, apparently. As far as I know. Let's see. Oh yeah, as long as I keep up, okay. You know New World couldn't figure out how to get characters to swim? But... Yeah, I started to go underwater a little bit. Okay, there we go. Long. I might have lost my bench. All right. Oh, is that a little fox? Hey, buddy. No, I'm not going to hurt you, man. Wait, can I pet you? Oh, I thought I could pet you. Might as well gather some stuff. I don't think survival-wise is going to be difficult. I did not already get water, though. Okay. Gonna straight up eat corn. That's quite a bit of corn to eat, though, man. I might have lost my crafting bench. On a stretch of... I don't know. Be back more that way. Also... I have no idea what that means, I gotta be honest. Is that a warning? Someone talking to me? Okay. Let's think logically. They drop us off here. Gotta be a city number somewhere. 
I'm just gonna head straight up. We've already lost our crafting bench. And without a map and GPS, I mean, I don't necessarily, I need at least a map. Being able to mark where some of my stuff is would be a nice quality of life player. Where some of the stuff does look a lot alike, like one beach. I'm like, I had to check the entire coastline. We're gonna head this way. The only thing I'm worried about, we've got plenty of food, water. That's what I'm wondering about. We'll just get a workout. I don't know if we can train running. We'll try that today. That's some of the basics. I imagine building will probably open up somewhere in there. They're building on the open world. I see animals. Looking for signs of civilization. Because I don't think you want to put a base out in the middle of nowhere here because... I'm sure you survive, but I don't see much of a point to that. Out for branches, maybe. Yep, all right. Keep going to higher ground. I imagine if it's on higher ground, maybe I'll see something. See no roads. Can I jump up? Yes. Work the legs. Okay. Where it's yeah, like the gathering stuff you can't see from ways away, apparently. I'm going to try to get up that hill. And I don't see anything. And more so, technically, for survival games, we'll start getting into dangerous. Further out we're going, we're going to get into more dangerous area. <laughs> they are saying they're going to do co-op next month. I think I would focus more on, you want to have your fundamentals down. I mean, co-op, everybody's all about co-op these days. Multiplayer, everything needs multiplayer. But you have to have the basic fundamentals down. That is the most important thing in a survival game. If your core gameplay is not solid. It doesn't matter if there's two people, I feel. Yep. Okay. Map is... That's pretty enough. Okay, so that's another island across the way there. Problem is it's... It's not unique. This is this is randomly generated for the most part. I can pretty much almost bet you. Uh, it's nothing distinct. Like if I'm trying to remember my way, I'm just like oh, the saw the another tree to the left. We need something. Okay, I'm not seeing any city or anything. Now it could have been like yeah, we were like two miles away, and I just was went the wrong way. But okay, um. What about we go this way? Thought if I got up here, I'd be able to see more. So far. Nothing. Now, the survival stats themselves, I think they're going off at a decent clip. This is acceptable range. The early tool durability. I would forgive if the game had a little bit more going on. Okay, just keep going up. I'm just gonna keep going up higher. If we can get a good view. Those hills and mountains. Keep running. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow, is this just... One more thing, you can make the biggest map in the world, but if it's not distinct, it doesn't really matter. I have not found a town yet. Definitely from the trailer, there, there were other people. 
We're in PCs. Ah, uh, okay. Keep going over the next mountain, probably. Gotta be honest, kind of feel like you procedurally generated a Oh, okay, we do have fall damage, though. Well, maybe I shouldn't have climbed the mountain. Walking down the mountain as we come. So. Got one road, though. One road. And I, I don't know if we heal over time or I... We haven't unlocked anything to heal yet, so this could be... A bit of an issue. We're right right now. You. you gotta make your own music. It's, it's, it goes on a loop and then it stops for about a minute or two. And then it fires up again for one song and then... Definitely, if you don't have a lot going on in the game, you, you want to have at least this music being kind of solid. Especially in a grindy type of getting survival stuff game. Ambient music, that kind of stuff is very important, I feel. <laughs> Otherwise, I might as well fire, fire up some Netflix while I'm... Was this, uh... I also already burned out my axe. If this is, I think this is copper, I would bet. Or is it? No, it's a slightly different order. This is copper. And you are iron. You are... Copper is more... You have the ore there. Alright, that's fair. Then copper is usually a copper color. Alright, so we're finding some copper. I'm now kind of determined to find people. He doesn't want to be alone in this world anymore. This is our story. What's it all matter if he doesn't find love? I don't know how long we've been. Also, just really never realized. Do you see the corners of the screen? Can I? What the? F I j it took me that long to just figure that. I wasn't mad looking through somebody else's eyes. Oh my! Am I? Am I God looking down upon this poor man? This poor man. I gotta get a picture of this. <laughs> All right. Also, at this point now, I don't realize if I've been. Okay, that was the mountain, right? Probably. I can't tell with the trees. I think we're going the right way. Now, what I would have done, if I designed this map properly, uh, where you started, maybe a little ways away, have a little bit of a road leading to that. Little, um, geography storytelling stuff that leads the player on a path to something. If you just spawn on a map with all randomness, sure, it's new, but does it matter if you just keep, because I've been running for about a good 10 minutes now, and I, I've seen, other than the copper ore, I think we've seen uh, all this before. Gonna keep running for a while. I think we're on an island. I have a good feeling. Thinking if I were to be able to, I had to set a bench every place. Just to make sure I hadn't been there before. I've hit water again. Rocks. You would have think I would have hit something by now. I think I wandered back the wrong way again. Now I can't imagine that's the other island. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello, hello, hello. He said with a grin. That's a road. Road, I've just got to get there. I've just got to get there. Land. He's found land, people. 
And go back to my wife and kids. Wait. Well, that's... I don't know why that's your water, but your food is. I have picked up like 18 things, so I think you're okay. I'm gonna put you in the bar to actually eat, though. And what is that, anyway? Sweet potato. Okay. How about a bean? Would you like to eat a bean? You can't eat a bean. That must be for cooking. Uh, suspicious mushroom, though. I'll eat a cucumber, though. I mean, I feel like that's... Okay, all right. Now you just gotta not sink. And we can get you home to your family. Now, I, as a player, how would I have known to get to this road? Other than running... <laughs> Most normal people would not wander around 30 minutes in this game to find something. I can't... Can you... Okay, I've got to actually angle the camera up or he starts to drown. This is weird. Can I... I... Okay, there we go. It's closed. You gotta, gotta angle it. And I, I can't speed up a little bit. But that was definitely a road. But yeah, it's so weird. It took me a second to realize. Your edge is, it's like you were looking through an eye. But why? I could tell if it was for story purposes. Maybe some kind of thing like that. But you're not telling, you're not explaining that part. Do, do. All right. Almost made it. Look at my swimming skill. Grab your water. Where, where, where's the road now? That's where I saw the road. It was real. You saw it, folks. Road. Where I saw a road. It's over there, I think. Yes. Gotta be. We'll just head into inland and have to catch up with the road. Grab some food while I'm at it. He doesn't want to die alone. Is that actually food, though, I just saw? Radish. I can't eat radishes. I think we had to cook those. Starve out here alone. I need branches, though. Hot road. Could have seen or think thought this was a road from the side, but there's people on this island. I know it. Yeah, I see a road. Road right there. That's a path. There were people here once. I think that's wanted to murder me yet either, which is surprising. More food. This guy is hungrier than Will McKenzie, though. Oh. It was another radish, unfortunately. Is this corn? Oh, I think it's corn. Yes, corn. I'll eat it. Love it. I wonder if it's just draw distance. I'm thinking it looks like a row, but it's really not. Okay, so... Corn was pretty good. Yeah, the day-night cycle is a little fast. 
That is that is not spinach apparently. Yeah, but I, I can't eat this. That that one I could eat for some reason. This one I cannot. But I thought there was a road up here. I thought I might just be crazy. Come on. No sane person would go through this game 45 minutes and just looking for road. People that don't exist. A town. Trailer felt pretty solid, like this would look like it was interesting. But so far now it's been yeah, and it's big enough. You should be able to see it from a ways away. Can't even make a torch. You should be able to find if a game is dead dark yet. Should be able to fundamentally make a torch. What the hell is that? Uh oh. Uh, hi, sir. Oh my God! The first person I find, and it's an accidentally murderer. <laughs> Okay, um, I found a hostile NPC. But I am not, definitely not ready for that. I have no weapon. Can I craft something? Ah! No! No! No, sir! I mean, it's a Gundam style out of here. Let's go. Oh. Uh. Gungan style. Sorry, I apologize. Uh, 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 run. Trying to slice and dice me. I always generally think when I judge a video game, the first, I usually say about the first 15 minutes, you gotta, you gotta get your hook in. You gotta show something good fundamentally. And now we're 40 minutes in and I'm still looking for that that hook right now it's more of a morbid curiosity so there is yeah i saw those and those guys in the trailer because you could fight other npcs i say we're in no condition to fight anybody right now where are these towns they speak of because why if you have like a big town and all this stuff in here why would you put that like not easy for the player to find. You just have you have vast amounts of nothing. This is what this is. You should better you're better off with a smaller map with more distinct stuff. Work around that. This it's like throwing up a big open sandbox and like, hey, go play. Take your money and like just go. Oh. I mean they've got some of the base fundamentals down, but yeah, map design does need a bit of work. Day night cycle. Now dark. I'm gonna wait till light. I'm not ready to render my verdict on this one. I just wanna try to always give a game the. Kind of a doubt. What were they playing the other day? Bosphia. Uh, had some interesting ideas as well. Uh, the world was at least more interesting. I will give it that. It's, it's if you make a huge map if you don't put anything in it, it's kind of what is that is that are those stars or am i just high now uh what is that over there it is just stars the bad night and ask me this would you as a player ever be able to find a back your way back originally where you were if everything looks exactly the same like i can't even see anything right now we could be walking through town right now, and I have no idea. I could be walking right off a cliff, and I would have absolutely no idea. That. More radishes. I have to cook radishes. 
I'm more interested in finding other NP on an actual village now than. Can't eat this spinach though. Before I could, but now I can't. I have a distinct feeling that, like, if we had just taken a left, there would be a village right there. Probably not, though. I feel like to. I consider this as a road, but I think that would just draw distance. One NPC we have met, he tried to murder me. Okay. Got a whole lot of nada. I'm gonna give you till the morning, my friend. I to cover at least a couple kilometers by now. Good to keep you alive. Not really that invested in you, but I guess you at least try. Oh, because the corn usually comes in patches, it seems. I wonder if you would just respawn randomly back to where you started, or would it just? That's game over. That'll keep me alive. If you were a slave, I don't. I, everybody must be dead now. Bone walking. Slight bit of insanity right now. Keep thinking of that next hill. Something's gonna happen. I think even if you did play this in Korean and you understood Korean, I don't think this game would be any better. Can't really imagine so. Like the song, though. This is just miles and miles of nothing. Kind of amazing. Why would you make a map this big? I did a little bit of Solus crafting. At least that had some. That game has some. It goes on forever, but it has a little bit of uniqueness to the farther out you get. This is just the same stuff. I've yet to find a. I thought that was a road. I've not seen one unique thing coming out here. I would have really liked to talk to that guy that was swinging that sword, but he wasn't really up to talk. Go over the next hill. Yeah, the night cycle is far worse than the day cycle. That, to me, is, is insane when they do that in a survival game. You do make the torch one of the first easy things you can craft. At least give the player some. Is that a cow? Out and it's a weird sound effect. Keep on over that next hill. No map, this is kind of pointless, I feel. Maybe let me do some cartography or something. As a player, there's not much of an investment right now to, uh, Build stuff up if there's n there's nothing here. Even if we were to throw a co-op in there, uh, would your buddies just sit there and stare at each other? I like that one lone guy. I don't I don't know. No idea where we're going. Could be completely lost. There could be a city with NPCs around here. 
I have no idea. Let me get some water. I'll give you till morning game. You need to wow me right now. Kind of game I'm really interested uh, from, I think, Top Lip Studios. Uh, that's Sengoku Dynasty. See, now, this is a weird thing now, because now... Okay, there we go. Yeah, I did. I had to tab out and tab back in, or... Cycle back under the three hot key to actually eat that. I thought we were actually near some water there. I can't really tell. As it's insanely dark. This has more walking than death stranding. <laughs> oh. I'm just trying to keep my sanity at this point. It's kind of game we'd be doing if you're doing a podcast. Must have walked. There's achievements in this game. There's like eight achievements. I don't know what they are yet, but. The achievements don't go crazy. Why does the land keep going then? I kind of thought this one's one of those big. Giant island maps I see a lot in early access survival, but. I've been playing uh, kind of on the weekends on the Twitch stream. Uh, Conan Exiles. Uh, that game's got some issues, I do admit. What I like about it, though, it's got a very, it's got a map that everything flows well. It, it makes a lot of sense. It's distinct. It's unique. This is none of those things. I'm thinking I'm going to be able to see something. I'm probably going to die of thirst now that I think about it. I'm going to keep... There's got to be something I can see. Also, the tree cover really doesn't help. <sighs> keep going up. I'm not even jumping right now. He's just doing it himself. Nice. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Climb every mountain. See anything. The night's going insanely long. I'm going to go up to the top of this mountain. Just to see. I'll later, but yeah, this is... Got some, I would say, some fundamentally good stuff in the beginning, but it, it just gets really bad kind of right away. I think looping the music would help out. Uh, you need to shorten this map up. You need to make it more unique, more distinct. This is... It doesn't care how much you populate a map with just all the same stuff. I mean, it, that's... Are you trying to be Minecraft? I'm not really sure. I guess in the game you could set up a nice little place you could craft anything, but there's nothing in the world. Uh, Given I could be wrong about this one, but we've been exploring for almost an hour now, and I have not found anything, which is very weird. I mean, I am just seeing more and more of the same. Yeah, it's. I press some other buttons to see if anything does anything. Nope. That's about it. Okay. Maybe one if you're you thought this was interesting enough, keep it on your wish list. Uh but with already early onset reviews, uh not great. I don't know what they say though, because I, I unfortunately don't speak Korean. Uh but probably not looking good for the studio. Uh Unless you love, they don't have any funding for it. Uh, yeah, this could get not make it to the finish line. But as the horizon goes, the gem will leave you here. This is Korean Dynasty. Uh, it's got some interesting things, but I cannot recommend this. Uh, even at the sale price, uh, starting out here, uh, thirteen bucks is 
A lot of empty. Yep, much like my soul. It's a, it's a little empty. Get me wrong. There could have been a city just around the bend, but I mean, we spent about an hour looking everywhere, and I just see open, open map with all the same stuff. And that's. You need a little bit better out of a, a game to get the fundamentals. I mean, it's early access, so time will tell. I'll check on this one uh, later on in development. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button. It does help out a lot. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.